just saw out on the ice before. How are you going? Good. You're really amazing out there. Thank you. So could you tell us a little bit about your um, experience and what you've done? Uh, well, I'm two-time Holland champion, state champion, national champion, and I have been training in the US. And I started skating at eight and I'm 11 now. That's pretty impressive. So what do you love about figure skating? Um, I just love how you can move to the music on the ice when you're doing your program. That's my favourite part. So how often do you train? Um, I train every single day of the week, two times a day. Okay, where do you want to be in the future? Um, well, I want, really want to go to the Olympics, but I can't go to the next Olympics because um, I'll be too young. Cool, well, we wish you the best of luck in the future. You're an amazing figure skater. Thank you. I'm here with Sarah and Joe from Ice Skating Australia to give us a little insight into their lives as figure skaters. Hi, girls. How are you? How are you enjoying the festival? Fabulous. It's great so far. How did you get involved in figure skating and how long have you been skating for? Uh, I started when I was four, so I've been skating pretty much all my life. Um, it was just something that I took to straight away. I enjoyed it so much and ended up getting some lessons. I've been skating for 20 years and I just went over just like I did ballet and a little bit of this and a little bit of that, that when I was younger and I stuck to the skating. I loved it the most. Can you tell us a little bit about your careers and the achievements that you've had? I was on the national team for seven years, including a world championships as well. I've competed at two Olympic Games, uh, numerous world championships and four continents championships. What is it that you love about ice skating? The feeling that I have when I'm on the ice is something that is, uh, I can't get it anywhere else. So for me to go out there and perform, it's a performance but it's also very athletic and I, I really enjoy that mix. It's something that you compete in as a sport, but yet again you can go out there and create a piece to music and it's just something what you feel inside when you actually just take a step and you glide. It just feels like your feet are just, it's freedom almost for us. So how often do you train and what does training involve? Is there any training that is off the ice or anything like that? Joe and I actually were trained by the same coach, so a lot of our training sessions were at the same time. We would be on the ice in the mornings and in the afternoons together and definitely took over our lives. It was hours on end every day, but it was something that we loved and we wouldn't have done that differently, of course. There's a lot of training off the ice as well. Uh, while we're competing, we're on the ice six mornings and usually six afternoons, two hours a time. Um, off the ice, we do off ice training, so a lot of plyometrics, a lot of uh, strength work, making sure that what we do on the ice we can take off the ice. Um, it, it controls your life when you're competing at such a high level. So what do you think about an ice rink here in the middle of Sydney? So just to have this environment, especially all, so many people have turned up and it's just phenomenal to have this whole this sky view of the cathedral and centre point. It's just, it's amazing. I think it's fantastic really. If you go to Europe, they have them everywhere, especially over the winter in the Christmas season. And to have it here, it's just such a great venue right in front of the cathedral. It's, um, it really is magical. Thank you so much girls. I think it's time I went out on the ice and gave it a try myself.